makes flash floods so common and so dangerous. Here to discuss is Acura, the Vice President of Forecast Operations, Dan DePadua. Dan, we appreciate you being with us uh, this morning. And of course, we've covered a lot of uh, the deadly floods, but we're breaking into it more. And, and you tell me this is an AccuWeather exclusive analysis. Yeah, uh, good morning, Ariella. This is an exclusive analysis that we did. We've obviously been covering the flash floods of the last uh, several weeks across the U.S. very extensively, the record nature of those floods. In summer, a time for flash flooding, the most prone time of year in the U.S. But what we did here at AccuWeather is we took a look at a specific data set over the last 30 years here plotted behind me, taking a look at the what's called the total column water vapor, which is the amount of moisture in a column of air. We looked at that across the entire United States, and you can see that clear trend over the last 30 years, uh, that increased trend over the, since 1995 or so to 2020 and more moisture in the air means there's more opportunity for extreme rainfall events when rain does fall. Okay, but something has to make those clouds build, make the rain fall. So what has the pattern in combination with the extreme moisture look like? So the pattern we've had this so far this summer, pretty uh, favorable for this, a strong Bermuda high, that's the area of high pressure that sits near Bermuda over the course of the summer months uh, on the stronger side this year. And that means the flow around that high area of high pressure feeds tropical moisture into the United States. And that combined with a very active storm track uh, south from Canada has uh, allowed ample opportunity for thunderstorms, not just here in the Ohio Valley and Midwest, but as we've seen, unfortunately, in Texas, North Carolina, and parts of the Northeast, New Jersey, and Massachusetts, all have experienced significant flash floods over the last several weeks. Some significant data, and if you were to kind of sum it up, hit some of those main points and, and uh, cover why this is so important. So it's really, it's a... Uh, very impressive pattern the last uh, number of weeks, near records amounts of, of moisture in the atmosphere, as we just showed on that chart, a clear 30-year trend. That moisture, that uh, increased moisture means that there's more uh, opportunity for extreme flash flood events when rain does happen. It doesn't make necessarily rainfall more frequent, but when it does happen, those extreme rainfall rates are more significant. Again, we talked about that strong Bermuda high. And the last piece, really, the climate change piece. One of the more clear links between climate change and what we see every day is the fact that a warmer atmosphere holds more moisture. So again, when uh, in the summer, when the atmosphere is warmer, you can hold more moisture in a warmer atmosphere, and that causes a higher risk of flash flooding. Acura Vice President of Forecast Operations, Dan DePodwin. We appreciate you and your team breaking down and giving us that exclusive Acura analysis of all the flooding we've seen so far this summer. You're welcome.